Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. From the thumbnail, you saw that Honda is releasing the all-new EU3200i. That's going to be a 3,200 watt inverter generator. Now I'm going to run through the current lineup of Honda's inverter generators, okay? Okay guys, let's start from the bottom. Honda's EU1000. This generator right here is perfect for camping, tailgating, real easy to carry, okay? This is a generator for someone looking to hit the trails, carry it with them, and do a little overnight camping. Easy to carry. All right, 7.5 amps output. Then you get the uh, 2000 watt generator. This is the companion version. As you can tell, it has a 30 amp output, 2000 watts. You move up to this generator if you have a small trailer, camper, and you want to power some heavier loads. That 15 amp and up okay if you parallel this one you can do 30 amps but this would be perfect for trying to power a small ac in an rv or camper you got your 2200 you get a little more power a little more starting power 200 more than the 2000 this is the regular version this one would be paired with the companion version to get that 30 amp output right here you see 30 amps Put these two together, clean power, real simple and quiet. Then you have Honda's 3000 watt. Right here is where you would start if you want to do a little home backup. Tie this to your house, a transfer switch, getting power to your house. Okay, 3000 watts starting and it has a 23.3, basically 30 amp twist lock output. This is where you would start if you're looking for home backup. Then we got the big board on top, the Honda 7000. This is fuel injected, super quiet, 240 volt home backup generator. All right. So where Honda's coming in with the 3200, it's going to fall right in between these two, but it's going to be a compact version. And we have some compact version. I'm going to show you that competitors of where Honda's trying to fall in that compact version. You can carry 3000 Watts, perfect for RVing, perfect for home backup, move it around, carry it, no wheels, no battery, no starter. It's going to be pull start. Pretty sure Honda's going to throw a Bluetooth, seal minder and everything on that 3200. So it's going to be feature packed and easy to move around. Probably coming right under 50 pounds. Honda lineup is only gonna get better with this 3200. Let me show you some compact 3000 watt generator. Okay, over here, you have generators like this. Now look at the size of this generator. I'm gonna put it next to a 2200. Okay, guys, this is a 3,200 watt generator next to a 2200. So this is what Honda is trying to compete with. You have the uh, Genmax 3200, the Generac 30, this is the 3000, but I also have the 3300 and they're the exact same generator. One just has a bigger inverter. Then you have the Ames 3200. So this is where Honda's gonna fall into, that 3200 watt. That's the competition. You have a 3200 watt, compact, easy to move generator. Now, some of the things you can probably expect on this Honda is exactly what you get on the 2200, Seal minder, Bluetooth, it's not going to be key start, it's probably going to be pull start and it's going to have a 30 amp output. Hopefully Honda comes out with the, puts the RV 30 amp on there. I'm pretty sure if, it's, if it comes out in the US, it will have the coal minder, all the new generator have that. It will have the parallel port and eco mode and all that other good stuff, but it's, it's Bluetooth is where 
the other the other generators just cannot compete with the Honda when it comes to Bluetooth Bluetooth and the long-lasting reliability and warranty that's where the Honda comes in so I can't wait for this 3200 so we can put it to the test and see exactly where it falls with this other competitors we'll line them up with all these other competitors the Gen Max the Power Rush Generac Power Rush and the Ames all right all right guys so if you like your Hondas stay tuned we're gonna be getting the Honda 3200 soon I don't know what time or any kind of timeline or when it's gonna be released but as you can see I will be getting one of them and put them to the test we'll put it to the test against all these I am gonna be testing the uh, 7000 soon okay so the 3200 is gonna fall right into this lineup okay guys if you like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel thanks and have a nice day bye